And then I, I have fantasies about killing the teachers because the teachers were pricks. Did you have fantasy about killing your teachers, Fitz? I mean, like, I've killed people, but not my teachers. Where did you go to school and how popular were you? I was not popular in, like, regular school. And then I went to a really weird school when I was, like, 14, where is, which is where I met Toby, my co-host on the Misfits podcast. It was like a private school, but it wasn't an expensive private school. It was very weird, very niche. It was like 50 kids there. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, so it was... was that boys you're, only? Is that because you're... No, nah, boys and girls. Small town, or...? No, nah, I lived in Auckland, New Zealand, so it's like... It's pretty big. It's like Melbourne, but smaller. It's like the only place that I know from New Zealand. Auckland. Auckland. I would say, yeah. That's, yeah. The only, that's the only city I've been. I went there to get laid. It's kind of a boring city, but, you know, it was great. I mean, I didn't really have any... I didn't have a, like a dark childhood or anything. Well, what was pretty, the pretty chat's, chat's like probing. <laughs> <the summer>. well, <laughs> well, <laughs> There's not really any dirt mate. there. You know, well, I had well, a kind of rough time in, in primary school, I guess, but that was about That's it. Ev- everyone has a rough. Everyone time has a rough time. time you know? I, Why, what was the decision between your family sending you off to a boarding school? Well, it was my decision, really. Like, yeah. I just when I was 14, I found that I just had a lot of problems with the school system in general. Like, I wasn't. I just didn't feel like I fit in there. I was never paying attention in class. I was like ditching class sometimes yeah. and uh, didn't have like the greatest social life there. So like a change needed to happen. And uh, we just by chance, by word of mouth, found this kind of like weird niche school. And I went for a day and it was it was, it was odd for yeah. sure. Yeah. We did, but, I, did, uh, I did that like first day where you go in and they walk you around the school. Yeah, it yeah, was like I that. that well, why, well. why was it like... You're well, it's like uh, this, niche it's, school, this is like a big to topic like a to get into. I'm just letting you. It, it was a weird place. I've talked about it on an hour podcast, uh, uh, which is the Misfits podcast. Do you remember what episode it was? Uh, if a, episode 37. Yeah, yeah, we went into uh, to, uh, to it in depth there. But I mean, basically, this was a school with no classrooms. There were no real teachers. They were quali- they, they were qualified as teachers, but they didn't behave like teachers. There was no like lessons. It's like some experimental school. It was experimental for sure. It was kind of like a borderline hippie almost. Yeah. But... In the co- I mean, honestly, I'm very grateful for this school because I feel like I came out of it with a bunch of social skills that I wouldn't have. You also came out of it with like a lifetime friend. Yeah, well, big time. Thing, yeah. I made a lot of really good friends at that yeah. school because it was so close. You you couldn't really afford to fall out. And like yeah. if you had problems with each other, you had to work through it yeah. um, or leave basically because mm-hmm. you're going to have to see them every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, so. It's like they say for normal schools even now, like a lot of them were designed to produce factory workers yeah well in the industrial revolution yeah, yeah so it's like that's a whole different thing where someone's going against the grain to make yeah like because like what was the goal with that school to produce it started um with parents who were homeschooling their kids mm-hmm. but they wanted them to have a social life ah. so the best way to describe a school is basically like homeschooling but with other kids yeah uh-huh. that's that's kind of how it worked so like you did all of your uh, exams internally through essays and stuff. Yeah. There were no like time limits. It was like you get your work done at your own pace. It was kind of like up to me to finish my maths homework or my English or whatever. If like I went two weeks with doing no work, they'd call me out. They'd be like, yo, you're kind of like slipping here. Yeah. And I'd get them back on track. But yeah. like I got a lot of independence very early on from. That sounds like, yeah, more freedom that you would have at like a university. Yeah, it was really. At a younger age. Okay. It was really more similar to a university than a school. And we could like leave the school as well and go to town and like buy food and shit. You know, oh, we wow. could like this sign is, out. This is the complete like opposite to my boarding school. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Sound like boarding, school sounds, yeah, boarding school sounds boarding school sounds rough.